Science Gallery is a place for the collision of art and science. With a focus on young adults, it's a place for curiosity to flourish and creativity to thrive. Pioneered by Trinity College Dublin, there'll be nodes around the world in Bangalore, London, as well as embedded into the University of Melbourne. I think it's fabulous to be part of a global network. They can be an extremely interesting and rich interplay of ideas. With the Science Gallery coming here, we'll become the science and technology capital of India and Asia. Universities these days can't be sealed boxes. They have to breathe and they have to bring life in from outside. The Global Science Gallery Network will allow Science Gallery at King's College London to tap into the best ideas from around the world and bring them into London. The University of Melbourne has chosen to set up a Science Gallery because we're absolutely committed to the principle that science is the future and young people need access to science, they need to be excited by its possibilities and they need to see the huge potential. And the thing I love about the Science Gallery is the way it makes science not just exciting and accessible but intellectually challenging. Personally, what I would like Science Gallery to become is a place where girls can encounter the fascinating world of science and start thinking about careers in STEM. So the Carl Connect initiative is a project to create a new innovation precinct right on the doorstep of the university. So Science Gallery will be a real magnet right at the heart of the Carl Connect initiative. Uh, we think it will really bring people uh, into the precinct and it will be located on the ground floor, activating not just the building but the whole streetscape around it. Uh, we think Science Gallery can be a, a critical part of our vision for this precinct. I think the idea of Science Gallery is a fantastic idea and I'm really excited about it coming to Melbourne. I think it stands alone from other organisations and museums that I've seen in Melbourne and other, other cities. I love the idea of Science Gallery because I could bring my friends and bring my family and pass on my passion for science. So the next five years for this institution places a huge focus on STEM, on science, technology, engineering, medicine and maths and says this for us is the core to our research strength, it's core to our vision of ourselves, and it's core to our reach to students. Science Gallery International brings a different way to engage the public around sciences, and also to be a living laboratory so that we can get people coming through exhibitions, experiencing science that's expressed through art, giving their feedback, providing their thoughts, and that becomes data that feeds into research. I think Melbourne is the ideal city to have a science gallery in. It's an institution and a city with huge intellectual reach and ambition. It has great science already happening in the city and a chance to share that with a broader community. It's a city that loves ideas, that loves events, that will turn up to hear visiting scientists and will engage with the ideas they put before us. So Melbourne is the great place to put the next science gallery.